Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Unfortunately, as a politician uh, nowadays, and since we had democracy in place, uh, you have to have one of the requirements, uh, prerequisites, uh, is a, a very, very thick skin. That means if you're called a liar and you're a liar, you should just uh, smile and keep going. You know, don't even have to answer to the plebe what uh, the accusations are. Don't even bother. Uh, the same here we have um, Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of, uh, used to be Great Germany. Um, why is not Germany? Because it's under uh, American uh, occupation and has no, uh, really no foreign policy, independent foreign policy, just a country under occupation. So he comes in front of uh, the Deutsche Volk and is going to speak. And some of the Deutsche Volk, Volk will um, boo him and will whistle and he will call him this and call him them. And what is he doing? Obviously, he doesn't even bother to, you know, they call him all kind of things and he doesn't bother to uh, engage. He just keeps on saying what he has to say, goes and uh, he takes his money. Um, I remember I have a video to play with the whole thing. I remember when I used to work uh, in construction as a laborer and uh, I can't disclose more. Anyway, it was a person who was making about $120,000 a long time ago and he worked in the office and he was asked to go and check a project. He was an office person and he was asked by the, the person in charge to go uh, to check a project because it was close to his home or something. And that person was like, eh, eh, eh. and this guy said, well, for $120,000, he should can go over there and check that project. So uh, the same, he would get dirty a little bit on his little uh, shoes. <laughs> okay, uh, the same here, Scholz, for his uh, support and his uh, whatever he gets out of being uh, the Chancellor of Germany, he can stand a few of boo, you know, pig or whatever. So, Schwein, let's put it this way, <laughs> right? Right, jawohl, jawohl. Uh, so let me show you the article and then the video. Ukrainska pravda. Now this is how uh, propaganda is made, by uh, giving different terms to different things, obviously. German Chancellor defends his policy of supporting Ukraine to booze and whistles of far right. Like they knew it was the far right. They, they asked each and every person who booed or whistled, they are far right. And obviously far right for these guys is bad, right? Right. So this is the weasel in charge. So let me show you uh, his little speech here. I'm going to make it uh, like this. And uh, you look at these people here and they're not thugs or anything. I mean, they're not, uh, you know, they're not uh, sacking a Gucci store here or anything. They're just civilized and just civilized. They just see whistles. They're going to say, hey, this and that. Ready, set. Am I right? Yes. Go. So these are far right, right? They look like far right, correct? Imperialistic motive. Okay, Adolf, I got that. So I talking about Rusland, the Russian, I, from whatever I picked out of his. So he's talking about Russia having a mo imperialistic motive in Ukraine. Okay, parroting the same garbage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's take a look at their German flags. I don't see one freaking German flag here. None. None. These guys lost their soul. They have, I see Ukrainian flags. Good for them. But I don't see German flags. It's over. So, my friends, um, here is uh, this weasel who shows up in front of uh, the Deutsche Nation. <laughs> like the other guy now from his videos. <laughs> okay, Deutsche Funk. All right. And uh, here we have this weasel talking about the uh, imperialistische Russland territorian Schwein. Uh, and take it easy off with and see you never anyway my friends uh, there are Germans who uh, you know still have the and the balls and uh, they have that little party that they have over there in um, in Germany that these guys I think they want to um, to ban because it's alternative for Germany it seems like alternative for Germany it's becoming too popular. Therefore, democracy uh, doesn't work anymore. We have to do something else. How do we eliminate competition in a democracy? Ban. <laughs> Make them illegal. <laughs> this is what it's going to be. So the alternative for Germany is the far right group that you saw over there. Uh, what's interesting is that these guys did not engage in any physical altercation. Did not break anything, did not show that outrage on breaking any stores or destroying any fountains, water fountains over there. Beautiful. Now that's civilization. I like that. I don't like uh, Minnesota uh, 2020, for instance, or it was an article uh, uh, yesterday, I think, in uh, Los Angeles, California. I think it was in a mall in Sears. I think it was in Sears they got in and they stole a gang of, uh, can name, can say anything more, of people, people, human beings who entered the mall and start, they went in as a mob, stole all kind of shit for about $100,000 estimate, and then they ran out. That's America for you. And if it would have been a person over there with, uh, I don't even want to have to tell you. you know, we got to this point where, you know, it was in Chicago, it wasn't in Chicago, downtown, the magnificent, magnificent mile, right, on Michigan Avenue. Uh, that gang of again teenager uh, we can i can't say more but you can find it on youtube that uh, no they they closed and beat up certain kind of people only certain kind of people and broke windows and cars and all that why because they can now that's america uh there was more than that more than that um uh, so it was in new york wasn't that in new york city uh a few days ago with that uh, influencer what he was from i can't remember what uh not parlor, I can't remember, whatever he was. And when they started breaking again, I can't say who and what, politically incorrect, but you can find it online. Again, they started breaking stuff. What is that? That's a culture. Is it poverty doing that? Do you think that those guys in Germany over there are all millionaires? No, it's a culture, my friends. It's a culture. And this subculture in the United States uh, is going to uh, become uh, a main culture. That was one of the reasons why I left Romania, because I saw the subculture, like let's say you have, I'm going to give an example, not necessarily pick on that, but let's say you have gangster rap being the main culture, becoming the main culture. That society is screwed with pimps and drugs and uh, candy shop and, uh, you know, all the kind of, it's your birthday and so on, 50 cent. Okay, so well, that kind of thing. Well, if you have that as becoming the the culture, the mainstream culture, you're screwed. What kind of values are pushed? But have you seen how those guys uh, um, demonstrated, whistled, called, and yelled? All right. Didn't break anything. Did not use anybody anything. Uh, here, this, that's why I left Romania. One of the reasons, one of the three reasons why I left Romania was this. The subcultures, the illiterate, the whores, and the former, the former gang members, the former guys who would exchange... Uh, 
currency, foreign currency at the corner, some in a hidden places, or these guys that were working with alcohol and uh, cigarettes and they were doing all kinds of things under the table, Th those guys to be our senators and our uh, new rich, nouveau rich, right? Those guys were. And if you looked, if you looked at the television right now, you still see these illiterate uh, Romanians uh, in the mass media being the experts and telling you how... It's, uh, I can't watch a Romanian... Uh, I don't watch TV in general. Like, I don't watch TV. All my information, I get it from online. I don't have... I have a TV, but I don't watch it. I haven't been watching for years. I don't know, 10, 15 years, maybe more. Right? Sometimes when I want to see how the garbage is brewing, I just... Okay, I watch a little bit and I take my information from wherever I need to take my information. So, if I watch right now, right now, if I turn on... I have my cousin and others that watch remaining things. Uh, I was about to say shit, but... Anyway, uh, if I watch that in no more than five minutes, I get angry as fuck. Just by looking at those guys over there, how they talk, what they push, uh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And that's the mainstream. It's not like... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, anyway, my friends, that's why uh, still here is fantastic compared with there. I'm sorry, I come from there, but if I left, it means uh, that was one culture, big cultural... Um, thing that I uh, really disagree. Look how the Romanians stay in line. Like animals. Elbowing one another, everybody jumping. They don't know how to stay one after another. They don't know how to pick a number and stay over there in line. Well, it happens here the same in big towns, but you have a certain kind of culture in the big towns, big cities. In little cities, they respect one another because they know one another. It's a different culture. Different culture. Well, I want these guy, this guys to go back to that and become even better than they were. I'm not talking about abuse and bullshit. Don't be... You know what I mean. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So Schultz is going to continue doing what he, what he does best. <laughs> I mean, uh, he rules through a minority. There's a definition of, of uh, uh, democracy nowadays, right? You rule through a minority. He doesn't have the majority support anymore. He hasn't have had for since, I think, the first month he was in office. And he's still the chancellor. How is that possible? How is it possible? If the population, most of the population doesn't like or don't like your policies, you're a failure in their eyes. With your mass media, with everything, you're still in a minority of support. You should go home. You should go to a nursing home or you go to old people's house. Stay over there and retire. Go fishing. Something else, my friends. But no, they, they, they have that culture. No, I'm the best. I'm right here. I must be. I must be the best if I'm right here. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not saying that you should be ruling by the mob or anything like that. But if we pretend at least that the majority rules, how in the... Don't tell me, oh, they voted and he got appointed and he got the chance there. Yeah, one time. And then says, look at Biden. He got voted. He got elected, right? All right. And he's in what, in the 40s at the most uh, approval rate? So he's been a minority since he took office. That means he failed, 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 failed. And he sends billions of dollars to other countries, other people, from my children, from me. How do I like this? I disagree with that. But anyway, thank you very much. At least he should have asked. At least the decency. They're beyond that. We are beneath them. And they are actually our employees. That's even strange. We hire them to solve our problems. And they act like there are some kind of kings over there. Mini kings and dukes and uh, counts and uh, marquis and all this. This is democracy, a mass democracy. I feel like throwing up, but I don't want because I already drink some good wine and I don't want to drink anymore. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.